Okay, welcome to the video on the Teams, Yeelink Teams phone. This is the Model 56A. This is the new Deluxe seven inch uh, touch screen telephone. It's basically Teams Android operating system, but it's still the Teams application that you know and love that you use on your mobile device. The same Teams application that you use on your Windows 10 device. That being said, I can honestly say that the Windows 10 uh, implementation of Teams has more features but, uh, and bells and whistles, and the phone sits somewhere in the middle. But at the end of the day, it is still a phone. So if you pick up the handset, you know, it automatically will display a, a pad, and you could either dial by touching the numbers on the screen, or you could dial with the dial pad that's on the physical phone itself. So either way, it's still a phone. If you pick up the handset, it automatically will go into numeric dialing mode. Uh, beyond that, the basic functions are really, there's only three basic functions at this time, and they're the ones that are down here at the bottom in the middle. There's the call screen. So right now we're on the call screen, which shows all incoming and outgoing calls and missed calls designated by, you can see my 248-764-4420. That first one is a missed call marked in red. If I wanna dial that number back, I just press it with my finger and dial it back. You see a call queue. So a call queue is what in the new world that we used to call them hunt groups. That's a call queue that came in for the IT help desk. So the calls coming in from a queue will be differentiated than someone calling me with the caller ID. They will actually show the call IT help desk resource account or customer service or recipient rights if you're on one of those call queues. One thing to note on a call queue is it rings all of the phones to all of the agents that are on the call queue. If you grab the phone first and pick up that call, it's about three to four seconds counted in your head before the person gets transferred to you and you can talk to them. So 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, boom, you have that person. So there is a little bit of time for the transfer. Uh, you also see uh, any other numbers that you've called or missed as well down here. So the call screen has the calls, shows everything for dial back. If you wish to make a new call, you know, you can click over there where I clicked on the new call. And now because this is integrated with the global address list in Outlook, you dial by name. So if I want to dial Chris, I just start typing. And then there's Chris Legato. And if I click on his name and then say done, and click over here, he'll basically go out and call Chris. And then I can hang up. So you dial, you're able to do dialing that way. Uh, on the screen, you also have the lookup screen, so you can just search for anybody. And then you see, you know, all of her information right there with the lookup screen, so you can see their email address, their office location, and if you click on the phone little icon here, then it'll automatically dial the person. So that's basically how you can do a call. And I can go back, 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 and I can go back to my call screen. The So that's everything I think that you can see that's on a call screen. Um, the other option that you have here is your calendar. Now this is kind of neat. You might ask, it's like, well, why do I have my calendar on my phone? But remember it's Teams, and so Teams is integrated with Outlook and Teams is integrated therefore with your calendar. So this is actually kind of cool because it's like your mobile device. So basically you can quickly look in here and see your calendar appointments for today and or for uh, you know tomorrow. So I see today and then I see tomorrow. Now one of the neat things that's really cool is if you've set up a Teams meeting, you know where you're doing a conference call with other folks uh, or uh, you've been invited to a Teams meeting, when you actually see that calendar appointment, you will actually see like right about right there where my finger is next to the meeting, you will see join. And if you hit join, this is awesome. It'll just automatically do the audio portion. It will dial you in, forget the pin, forget the dialing the number or the passcode or whatever to connect to that conference call. It'll automatically just place you 
right in queue, right into that Teams meeting. So very cool feature, makes it really easy when you're doing Teams meetings to join if you wish to use your phone for the audio portion which is highly recommended, you know, you can just dial in with that. So all conference meetings are Teams meetings, even if you're just doing, you know, audio portion, you still do a Teams meeting and you call in like with the desk phone. This also works the same on mobile. This also, of course, because it's Teams, works the same on Windows 10. So calendar is a nice function. I don't really go in here so much to add appointments to my calendar, although I can. Again, it's more functional on the Windows 10 computer to do that. I just like this as a quick glance and I really like it when I wanna join a meeting. It just tells me real quick where I'm going next. Now voicemails over here, if you click the voicemail button, so this is going to uh, show you all of your voicemails that are in your voicemail box. And so notice you have transcription, same as you do in all the other Teams versions, you know, a mobile phone, uh, Windows 10. So there's all your information. If you want to dial that person back, you click on the phone. If you want to see their contact information or if you wish to delete it. So you have all your information here. And you can look at, you know, these various messages uh, right here and do with them like you want. So if you want to get rid of this telemarketer, bingo, delete the voicemail, and now the voicemail is gone. Now do remember that the way the system works is this is the voicemail box, so if you delete it here, it is gone. But also remember that you are always emailed a copy, emailed a copy of the voicemail with the transcription in the body, with the information about the caller ID and the subject line. So you, you do get your voicemails in two places, but this is where you come you know, and delete the voicemail. Again, you can do it from Teams on Windows 10, you can do it on Teams on Windows Mobile, or you could do it on this physical phone. It's all the same thing, it's all connected to the same thing. So those are your basic functionality, voicemail, calendaring to take a peek, a look at your calendar and or to jump into a Teams conference call. Uh, and then here's your call log. Um, the other neat feature is under the settings, so here's where it's actually showing, you know, your availability. So this is just yet another way so others know that you're available. You can set your status message here. Again, the same thing as you see in Teams, like I'm working from home today or I'm doing interviews. You can set that up. And then there are a few settings in here. Some people like the dark theme. So instead of this intense bright white, you can go to a different uh, uh, theme and things like that. Uh, and then the other big thing to note is there is a sign out. So if you sign out, that allows you to sign out of this device and then somebody else can come in and sit here, log in as themselves, again with their email address, their full email address and their Windows password, and then that becomes them. And then now they can receive their calls here. So we never need to move a phone ever again because the phone becomes you by signing in and out of the phone, just like a computer. So phones don't move, people do. Uh, and that's, that's basically it. That's everything that you have for the basics of Teams. Uh, I'll show you an incoming call here in the next video.